Hey, good morning, guys. Today is Thursday. Uh, I guess it's July 22nd. I couldn't remember for a second. Um, I just want to show you real quick in a, this quick video, just kind of showing you what's going on. I did finally receive my decals from Mr. Pato, and uh, I am also finishing up this uh, Starburst Duos for Stefan. And I'm hoping tomorrow, got a couple more coats of sealer on it, uh, tomorrow to ship these cars out to him and uh, hopefully make his day. Um, yeah, I've been telling you about that. But um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. Um, it's a sharp looking car. And yeah, I mean, it's just really a bright yellow, colorful, fun die cast and so um, wah wah on the back that's pretty funny but yeah I've got a couple coats of clear sealer on it and um, I'm putting a couple more and then that'll be that so um, one last thing before I get to the de decals I am working on this Keslowski car with the underglow I have glued this uh, to the back of this blister pack so that's in place all I have to do is kinda drill a hole uh, for this push button switch uh, and get the car back in place uh, poke a little hole in here so the wires can run out the back and then I'm gonna um, it's gonna be a little weird but I'm gonna have some uh, some wires across the back of this thing and uh, with the little shrink tube and uh, and yeah so that'll be that'll be done I just love doing this I just love doing that I think that's awesome it is interesting to note though the um, the blue and the green are are pretty good color even the red is pretty good but the yellow and the orange LEDs are definitely not as bright and so I'm going to try to double up on those, basically, you know, um, put two of them in here, spread them out a little bit, you know, kind of fan them out a little bit underneath. And I think that's what they do with the ones, uh, 24s, is they put two LEDs, one kind of, you know, on each left and right sides. But yeah, those those colors are a little bit, um, um, well, they're just not as bright. So, not sure why, but... That's what will happen with those, so as I mess around with that. So let me show you real quick what's going on with Mr. Pato and the decals that I got from him yesterday. Alright, so Joey, here's the uh, 2009 Pedigree decals that you wanted, a, um, uh, a COT uh, of Kyle Bush, and so I'll be making one of these for you. And that should be really really cool there's extra decals in here you can see there's a couple you know dogs for whatever reason but it's a kind of a marigold yellow color of a car so yeah those have come in I'll be able to make one of those for you alright Mr. TW um, has requested a few Ryan Blaney cars this is uh, another seal wrap car, but it's a little bit different. It's got stretch and wrap, sealwrap.com on the hood. And um, it's got the widow wax on the trunk lid. You can see, I think the back here is the standard. And it's got this pink nationwide banner. So it must have been run in like October for Breast Cancer Awareness Month or something. But yeah, Mr. TW is a, a, a Ryan Blaney nut, collecting a lot of cars. I made a lot of cars for him, Ryan Blaney-wise. So that's one more that's coming his way. A couple Kyle Busch nuts uh, <laughs> uh, have asked for, um, you get it, the peanuts, um, have asked for the um, peanut M&Ms are awesome, by the way. Um, the number 75, uh, celebrating 75 years of M&Ms, Kyle Busch. This is... Uh, the um, 
I think this is a 2015, I can't remember what year, but it's that difficult to find Camry uh, car. But yeah, make a few of those as well. Here's another Kyle Busch uh, car. It's his uh, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen scheme. It's a 2009, I think. 2010, I can't remember. Uh, COT. So the car's red. And um, all these decals are going to go over that. So that'll be interesting. I will make a comment. It's Getting like silver metallic colored decals is, is not easy. Um, so I usually try to, if a car is silver or gold or whatever, I try to remove that background color because, um, I don't know if it's just Mr. Pato, but it's just hard to get that, um, that uh, metallic finish printed. So you can see this is kind of like a, it's supposed to be like a silver, but it's really not. It's just kind of like a, a mix of like whites and different shades of gray across here. So just a word when you're ordering your decals to consider that the the silver especially doesn't come up too well. Yep, this is another one from Mr. Uh, for Mr. TW and all you uh, Ryan Blaney fans. This is his 2015 uh, Darlington throwback scheme where the Wood Brothers did a lot of collage of pictures. And um, it's not too hard. It's a it's all black car. And then you lay this down. Looks like Mr. Pato has added some extra decals here to help with coverage if you need it. Of all the collage of pictures on the back end, even so little ones here. The hard part for me, I think, on this one is just painting the spoiler red and uh, trying to get that uh, down and done before you lay the decals on. It makes it a little bit easier. But all in all, that's not that difficult of a car to make. And then the third one for Mr. TW is this uh, 2020 uh, Tarket. I'm not sure how you say that. Tarket uh, Menards, number 12. So I had the fluorescent yellow removed. It's got the fluorescent uh, yellow rims and um, made a, a number of these that are like that with different, you know, extra sponsors on the front, you know, the Sylvania ones and a Moen and other things. But yeah, that'll be another car. It's a little interesting with this, and I won't say maybe a little frustrating with around the headlights trying to get it perfect. You can see there's a little bit of a gap between the blue and the headlight. I wish it was just, you know, filled in there, but for whatever reason it's not. And, um, if I don't have a matching blue, I'll pre-paint that black because I don't want the, the fluorescent yellow showing up. So just make the headlights a little bit darker there if I do the black or the darker around it. But yeah, that's what's coming. And then for whatever reason, I ordered a sheet of the um, this Clint Boyer number 07. I think it's a 2008 for Sedaris. And uh, it has come in, but for whatever reason, it's just on one sheet. So I'll ask them about that to see if uh, this is a screw-up or this is the way it goes. But sometimes, um, whenever there's a... Uh, Mr. Pato uh, doesn't provide what I ordered. It's happened a few times. Um, I'll just say, hey, you know, um, this, you know, can you send me this? you know, because this didn't turn out right or whatever. And then just send it with the other, with these other uh, decals that I'm ordering. Um, and he always comes through uh, with that. So um, I find him to be a stand-up guy when, with the ordering. You know, if you're, if you're, if you email and you include those pleasantries of, you know, please and thank you, um, he, he comes through. And um, so I appreciate him doing that. But um, this will be a very interesting paint scheme. It's kind of like a um, a lighter blue. I'll probably use that Rust-Oleum Oasis blue, and it's a it's not a COT car. At least I don't think it is. And um, yeah, it'll be 
very interesting to try to make this. I think this was available in 164 in kind of a limited rollout by, um, I don't know if it was um, Lionel or Team Caliber or Motorsports or Authentics or whatever, but um, Mr. Sedaris would like one of these, and so I'll uh, make that for him. So that's it, guys. This is what's coming down the road. Um, I I will also add that um, there uh, will definitely be some more Kurt Busch cars uh, that I'm going to order um, to make some of these um, green underglow um, on the on the stand. So I'm going to include a few of those in my next order as well. Joey is the ones that you wanted for the decals because. Uh, Joey's um, finishing up those designs so that's really exciting for me and my Matt Kenseth collection and and also a couple others that will be a little bit um, at least for me personally there's one that's that's going to be pretty interesting and then there's one other one that I think you guys might find uh, very interesting and um, Joey don't let the cat out of the bag on um, on that one um, but uh, uh, but yeah, I'm excited uh, for what he has done and for all that he's doing. So it's 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 great. Um, all right, guys. Hope you have a blessed day. We'll talk to you soon.